Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. I have got a new Harry Potter book and it's not a book you can read, it's a book you can build which makes it like uh, the best book ever. Now, last year Lego released Disney princess books. Now these were aimed at a different age group. They've got micro dolls in them. They were the introduction of the micro dolls, which are the cutest things you've ever seen. And I'm interested to see how the Harry Potter books are going to be different to these ones. Now this one is, this is the Hogwarts moments. This is the Herbology class, which was, I just loved the look of it. Apart from the fact, hello, it's, you know, Herbology. You love it. 233 pieces this one. It was $40 here in Australia. So you can kind of look it up and find out how much it is near where you live. Inside, we have got a crumb sticker sheet and I won't say anything more about that oh so these are the book covers they look different already to the Disney princess ones they're nice big panels they're gonna be useful for other buildy things too there's our instruction book oh it's got yellow paper do all the Harry Potter instructions have yellow like printed on yellow paper and I just haven't paid any attention but that's pretty <laughs> okay we got two two bags of instructions our crumpled stickers and we're ready to go now first up we start with a book. We actually build a book inside the book. This one is a spell book. I think it's giving us some uh, some idea on how to care for mandrakes. That, or it could be anything really. It doesn't, does that distinctively look like a mandrake? I don't know. It's a plant. So this is, this is our, it's a herbology book. It's not even really a spell book, is it? And we've got our first minifigure. There are two minifigures that come in this bag and there's one more in the second bag. We'll meet that one in a moment. But this one is Cedric Diggory, but he needs these things, which are not headphones. They are earmuffs. So yeah, it looks like we are actually dealing with mandrakes. Let's put his happy face forward or his determined face forward because you know, we, we want things to go well in our first Lego Harry Potter book build. He's got his wand. We've got two two wands on the on the sprue there, and let's just put it. It's actually the color matches his his earmuffs, so he can look after the book. Seeing how he's the first one here in class, and we also get Professor Sprout. And I have got Professor Sprout with a skirt, but I don't have her wearing much more common sense, sensible pants. And I didn't have a look at the back of Cedric, but it's not really that interesting. <laughs> we'll put him back again. So Professor Sprout has got her, her her hat and her hair with the earmuffs that we already saw in the minifigures series. Is that right? I think that's right. Let's give her her wand. And now she is sensibly attired to go out and instruct these new learners in the art of mandrake unearthing. I'm pretty sure that's not the actual phrase, but it's something. You do unearth them very, very carefully and with earmuffs. So this is not a mandrake. This has got nothing to do with what I just talked about. This is the first part of our build, which is not the book. This is part of the build that's going to go into the book. We've got a bucket and a tap. So this is a watering station. It's where they can go to get their water. That's cute. Is that just going to kind of float next to it? I don't know. We'll find out as we keep building. This is really exciting. So here we've got a plate with a whole heap of jumper stud bits on it. But on the underneath, we're putting... Oh, we're working on the underneath. So on the underneath, we are putting plants into it. A pumpkin. Are they pumpkins in the Harry Potter genre? What are the orange things? I'm just assuming they're pumpkins, but are they not? You can tell me, tell me in the comments. And random plants that I don't know what they are, you can you can make up what they are. In the brown pot, we get these these ashy green colored ones. And in the, in the fleshy colored pots, we've got bright green green sprouts happening. And in here, we have got our mandrake root. Uh, good, and that doesn't actually go on that. So where does that go? I don't know. Let's continue on. We get another one of these things that could be a pumpkin. I mean, surely even wizards eat pumpkins. They eat normal stuff. Do they use pumpkins in their spells? Now I've got a lot of questions and I need answered. Okay, we have got a little gardening panel that we've built. Now we get to put the book together. This is a great process. We didn't even start with the book. So this is the spine of the book and we're rounding it over with these rounded over bits, logically. And this bit here gives us a sticker with, with a beautiful leaf on it. So that denotes what we're actually looking at when the book is slid into the bookcase. The, new, the, the Lego part of the bookcase with the Lego books on it. Okay, smoothing over all the way down the spine, except I've marked that up because that needs to go there and then they go on either side. Lovely. 
This is lovely. I'm so excited. I didn't actually tell you there are four of these books today. I? I can't remember. But they're all, you know, for the different houses and they have different themes. So potion class, uh, charms class, and and that other class that I can't remember <laughs> off the top of my head. And they've all got their beautiful front panel, which is printed. And this one's all printed with nice glossy stuff to do with Herbology. Oh, that looks amazing. Is it the same size as the Disney princess books? Let's have a look. It is. It is exactly the same size. So entirely different components putting it together. But I think, yeah, we're going to be able to put them side by side on the shelf and they won't look strange together. Oh, I do like it. We're up to bag number two. We, I forgot to put these stickers on though. They're, they're, they're supposed to be at the end of bag number one. So these are going on our massive book inside panels and they're just really great big foresty greenhousey things to just give oh hey, look at that that's actually hiding the badge of the Hufflepuff crest there behind all of those vines down here is a little potting shelf worked into the sticker and on the other side this looks like a part of the castle wall with the fat friar with the Hufflepuff ghost doing something out of the window <laughs> I haven't put it on terribly straight this is really hard to get out I'm gonna do this over here there oh and there's a bubble in it. I don't think I've ever got a bubble in a sticker before. I managed to smooth that one out though. Some more vines down here going going on the outside of the castle. So this is going to be the outside of the greenhouse, this side of the book. I'm still trying to smooth bubbles out. I've never got bubbles in Lego stickers before. This is new and interesting. Okay, second bag. Now we get our third minifigure, Cedric. No, what am I saying? We already got Cedric. It's this dude. It's 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 Neville. It's Neville Longbottom, and I put his his earmuffs on the wrong way. No, I didn't. <laughs> He's doing really super well now. Now his earmuffs are on the right way round. Ah, oh, Neville. Here, you can have one of your wands, and we keep the other one for safety later. There we go. All right. So he also gets some pruning shears. No, he's in charge. Actually, he possibly shouldn't be in charge at this stage because he's still got the little legs. He's still still at that, that stage where things aren't going terribly well for Neville. Okay, what else do we get to build? We've got the curly Q kind of fencing piece, which is really nice ornamentation. Uh, building a cupboard. I'm so curious as to how this is all going to go together, how we're going to fit all this into a book which shuts. Oh, this is entirely different to the designs and the plans and even the idea of the Disney princess books. And yet, they're the same size. You can put them side by side in the shelf. That's really, really cool. All right, I am concentrating building here. We've got a little green tendrily thing coming out here and another slightly more menacing looking tendril going out to the side. And this, so we got all these studs here that are forward facing and some silver smoothie over bits going on the back so this actually plugs into the wall oops i've just broken it that plugs into the wall at the top and the bottom oh and okay so it's a storage cupboard now so all those things that we were seeing on the shelf in there just on the sticker are now inside the cupboard this is really exciting oh my gosh okay we've got a panel now on a on a rod which means it's gonna move a sticker with some more mandrake information on here. <laughs> you can never have enough mandrake care info. They're tricky little devils. And this is going to be a table that you actually, that folds up, just has one leg, but you don't need to. There's plenty of support there. Ooh, okay, so they have a table. This is, this is a new piece. I've never seen this shape in this circle-y, uh, half circle, quarter circle. Oh, that's really awesome. That's going to be really useful in lots of situations. We are piling telescopes on top of each other up here. I have no idea what we're actually building, but it looks really cool. It's so textured. There's so many interesting shapes going on here. Got a little green tendril sticking out the side. And so that's going to make the black curvy bit makes it curve. <laughs> Brilliant, Ellie. Well done. Wow, it makes it curve. We've got some tall windows and another one of those black curvy things that makes it curve around the corner on a, on a right angle, like on a proper 90 degree angle. That was what I was intending to go with. These two stickers are supposed to be actually uh, totally back to back on this window door thing. Be aware. They kind of, I kind of managed to line them up okay. They don't look too bad. Be aware because the world needs more wares. <laughs> I'm sure that's what it means. We have a hinged brick here with some more nice tall windowy bits going 
onto it and some short windowy bits with the black lattice work inside and they're actually facing inside We've got a scroll piece going out there with what i think is gonna be a light so that goes on there this is looking really awesome but i don't know what's gonna happen with it, it looks like it's a wall so it's gonna have to be a fold away wall which is why it is on all these hingy pieces this is exciting i just look more hingy pieces down the bottom so this goes on here is that right that's yeah okay let's put the windows on he nah see i knew that was wrong that just looked weird so that's supposed to be in like that so i've just popped that i need to turn that in Ta-da! there we go that's perfect now this can go here and now we've got this little bit kind of curved inside well not kind of curved inside making a, a semi wall so we can differentiate between rooms on the inside kind of if that is even the inside which side is the inside and the outside i think that's the inside i think we're work we're looking at it from the outside right now i think could be it <laughs> could be completely and totally wrong because i often am but that's part of the fun more windows i love this i love a greenhouse i love lots of windows i love lots of light i love plans this is just perfect for me i think i'm very positively a hufflepuff i probably need to do one of those tests so i can find out okay this looks really really good we've got another one of those little internal wall divity things and now these smooth bits go on the top to hold the lights on another smooth bit and i reckon that that's pretty much done we've got jumper studs along the top though oh awesome that looks so good okay now we get a light another light or maybe a heating lamp or maybe a light just here over the where the door is and there's a spot for our mandrake root oh that's nice a presentation spot prime position this is oh that's what the telescopes are for to actually hook hook plants in onto a, onto the wall onto the kind of lattice work wall now this all falls in on it does this light go in or out all falls in on itself that is amazing and then we plug it into the spine of the book is that even firmly enough oh i forgot to put the spade in sorry so there was a hook there for the spade and now we oh, fold it all in and oh, it's so tidy and it's oh my gosh that is so awesome so this is definitely the inside we're looking at the greenhouse side now and the other side is the castle side now what else do we have some more kind of is this Oh, I don't even oh it's ornamentation so this is for the top of the part of the wall that we just built for the top of the inside of the spine oh that's just beautiful detail oh my gosh oh I'm just dying to buy the other ones now so these go in here like this and we've got these bits to go on the back because you can actually connect the other books to this one and make this big round turnout display for all of your books I'll do it when I've got them all done and now apparently these actually click on top tidily put them away this one goes upside down on the top and it just slides this is like tetris this is lego tetris oh my gosh <laughs> this is so cool oh wow okay so our book is entirely packed let's unpack it again it's so easy it's so tidy it's a thing i love the most things that you can pack away tidily but have lots and lots of details in them that's incredible this is really fantastic lego you have done a great job let's put the oh, the book here in the in the storage cupboard we'll put everything back together again tetris it all in everything has its place that doesn't look very nice when we we have all those at the moment but that's okay and on the top we've got jumper studs where we can actually not very evenly display or well, stand and display the characters from the book this is amazing okay I, I i was excited when i saw the pictures for this but having actually built it now and seeing how it all interlocks and tetris is together my mind's blown it's fantastic i love it i love it so so much all right cannot wait to build the other books make sure you subscribe leave a comment let me know what you think about the herbology book because i think it's amazing you might not but i certainly do and i'll be back with another video very very soon so make sure you check back okay i'm off to play with the mandrake root <laughs> i'll put my emails on okay i'll see you soon bye